Hello YouTube, Chester Boy here, and welcome to day three of Volcanicus Week. So today we're taking a look at Dinobot Swoop from Power of the Primes. This is a wave. This is a wave one figure. Um, that it that can become a limb, or or can interact with a Prime Master. So, so he does come with uh, three things. We got the fit. Well, actually four. We got the figure, his thermal blade, the Prime Armor, and of course the card. And of course my card. The one that came with my swoop figure is the Vector Prime one. So, of course, we'll, we'll look at that later. So, so yeah. So here's Swoop on his own. You can see, of course, of course you can tell he's and he's always been a pterodactyl. Yep. So yeah, he's a pterodactyl, just like his old self, his old G1 self. Um, yeah, very neat looking uh, pterodactyl. Yeah, and of course, he's got movable wings. So, and of course, they do extend. Like, of course, they do extend like that. And of course, his G1 color scheme is exactly the same as his G1 toy. Of course, he got the nice gold layer bit, um, which is in fact the only um, part of this toy that has you know clear layer plastic. Um, well, it's basically just gold paint over. Um, actually, no, no. It's actually clear a clear layer of plastic over gold paint, so that's what it is. And of course the eyes are painted as well. So and, and of course they are painted on the clear plastic. So yeah. So yeah. So yeah. Um articulation, the wings can swing they can fold up and down. And of course I did show this earlier that these little wing bits can fold out. And of course the neck can well the head can move, but that's for transformation. So so yeah, and of course the toes can actually bend. Um, as if you want, um, let's say you know, like like a sitting position, like you can just fold his wings in like that, like he's perching on something, like on a tree. So you could do that. So yeah, and of course, of course it does come with two weapons. Um, one his thermal blade, which you can which can be plugged under. Um, swoops mouth so like that and of course his prime armor can actually can actually plug on top of the back because there's two little holes here and there's two pegs up top so you just line them up like that and there you go and there you go and of course and it does come with a card which is which is uh, Victor Prime you can, you can put um, Vector Prime in the primer like that. There you go. And of course, if you want to go, if you want to go crazy, you can actually plug um, um, metal, the Metal Hawk decoy armor in its gun mode, if you so wish. It does look weird, but hey, use your imagination. So yeah. So yeah. Um, now let's get into the transformation. Um, we're going to move the thermal blade and move the prime armor. Um, and go and fold the, toe, the feet down and swing the legs up like that. Of course, they do. Of course, they do. They fit nice and comfortable, and they do cover up these little, um, these little black, um, these little black detail. But, so yeah, just like that. And we're gonna grab this entire bit right here and fold it down like that, and then flip this panel up, this panel up, which become the toes. And then we're going to split the. We're going to split like that. Let me bring the camera up. I'm gonna go and fold these back for now, um, and then we're gonna fold down the head, and then fold down just the, and fold down just the pterodactyl head, like that to reveal his head. Then come here and get your fingernails made to flip out the fists, untab them from the waist, and then turn them like this. And you can give, give him his, his blade. Um, I'm going to flip up this little post out, this little or peg rather. Um, um, I like to plug this uh, primer onto his on his um, arm, just like that, since he does have little holes on the side. And go ahead and fold these in. It becomes like a gauntlet. And there you have Dinobots. There you have Swoop and Robot mode. 
And you can see he's very, very nice, very sleek, very skinny, um, um, very proportioned. Um, and of course, you know, on his G1 toy, he did look a bit bulky, a bit, you know, broad, but, but for this, they did, you know, they basically streamlined him. So, which is, which is good. I mean, I do like, I do like this, this, uh, this figure. Um, now, one little gripe I have this, and of course it's on my figure, um, this, this little, um, fin on, on his head is a bit warped. Like, it's actually going to the left a little bit, which you can see right there, um, like, I don't know if it's, I mean, it looks, actually looks a bit straight, but it looks a little bit going to the left on, on my figure, but it's not going to bother, it doesn't bother me as much, so, yeah. Let's go over the articulation. Um, the head can turn side to side. The arms can swing all the way out. They can, well, this, the arms can go all the way out because of the wings. Um, they can swing out to the side. There's a bicep swivel. There's a elbow joint. No wrist swivel since it can't turn side to side because of the transformation. There is waist articulation, but you have to unplug um, the pterodactyl head in order to move his waist. So... So if they, they could turn, the waist can turn, um, the legs can go forward and they can go, they can go back, and there's a thigh swivel, knee joint, um, and of course the ankles can bend like this, but that's for transformation purposes. So, and of course the wings can fold out as well, if you want to make him look like he's flying, or he's about to take flight, if you, if you so choose. Um, so yeah, you can get this guy into decent poses if you so choose. Now let's go for his uh, his the prime the prime uh, armor. I'm going to remove this. Um, now this one's a bit tricky to put on because um, there's actually these little um, there's actually these little um, these little slots right here on the side where his eyes are, like like right under his eyes. Um, there's actually a little slot that you have to plug in. Yeah, it's kind of to see, but. You got to like hold this. You have to hold this. Well, you have to hold one of the sides in. Make sure you fold in the, this peg as well, and fold this over, and then fold this around like this, so that way it it holds on to the um, the chest like that. So, so yeah, yeah, it's kind of a tricky thing to do for the first time, but once you get once you do it more more than one time, then you'll get the gist of it. So yeah, and of course you could plug. Plug Vector Prime in there, and of course, let's give him the Melhawk decoy armor in weapon mode, like that. So yeah, and with this power, he has the power to make precision times well to make precision time strikes and alter events and well, actually, I need to reword that. Um, basically, with with Swoop using the Vector Prime power, he he could perform precision time strikes. That alter events and destinies. So, yeah. Interesting. Um, so, yeah. That's that. Go and unplug this. And let's go and plug the sword in. Put this on. Put it down. Put it on his arm. There we go. All right. So that is it for Dinobot Swoop, um, or just Swoop. So I do recommend this guy if you're gonna if you're gonna be if you're a fan of the Dinobots or you're gonna make Volcanicus. Um, and this is a lot of fun, just like the previous two um, figures I reviewed. So yeah. Um, now that I'm just say about this guy. Um, very nice, very cool, very streamlined. Unlike his very streamlined, just well. Not like just the G1 toy, since I said before, the G1 toy look a bit broad. But hey, that was the 80s, so, <laughs> yeah. So, day four, we will cover Dinobot Sludge. So, I will catch you tomorrow.